Hello. Life insurers, if they've got any sense, are soon going to be asking you about your waist to height ratio. This follows some groundbreaking research by Cass Business School, which has found out it's one of the biggest predictors of when you're going to die. That research was carried out by the head of actuarial science and insurance here at Cass, Professor Ben Rickazen. Ben is with me now. Ben, what is the golden ratio? Well, uh, what, what we've found is that the um, having a, a waist to height ratio, so keeping your waist to half your height, is the, is the optimum for both males and females. And this can make as much as 20 years difference to your life expectancy? That's right. We, we looked at sample ages for males and females and we found that for a male age 30 non-smoker um, who's seriously obese, so this is um, uh, having a, a, a waist circumference which is 80% of their height, so it's very obese, but we were finding that our estimate of years of life lost was about 20 years, over 20 years in fact. Um, for the comparable female it's more like uh, 10 and a half years. And you trawled through enormous amounts of data from the Office of National Statistics to create these conclusions? Yes, that's right. We've been looking at records, uh, data over the last 20 years. Um, there are different surveys that we've put together together with um, mortality tables from the Government Actuaries Department. Um, there's, there's the Health Survey of England and the, uh, and the HALS survey and, uh, and put all that together and that's what we've, we've, we've found. And away from business, this information really does have Im enormous lessons for life. Well, yes, it should be, because I think traditionally BMI has, been the, has always been the measure that people have used of, of obesity. Um, but it's also been well known that if you take, for example, a rugby team, uh, they would actually come up with a very, very high BMI uh, average figure, which would suggest on BMI scale that they were obese. But actually it's because muscle weighs more than fat. Um, and so, they, th so they're actually not obese at all. And in fact, the classic uh, comparison is compar comparing um, uh, Danny DeVito with Arnold, Arnold Schwarzenegger, who both appeared in the film Twins. And they both have a BMI of about 35. Uh, but one, uh, if you look at the waist to height ratio, obviously it's completely different the way their, their, their body looks. And, um, and it's completely, di and, and Arnie, not surprisingly, doesn't stand to lose any years of life, whereas uh, D Danny DeVito, uh, I, you know, several. So that's a kind of classic example of where BMI is, 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 is not as good as using the waist to height ratio. And away from business, this information really does have enormous lessons for life. Well, it does. It's a very, and it's a very simple public message that can come across, which is to keep your, your waist to half your height, if at all possible. That's right. Uh, but the risks with, with obesity are, are things like uh, diabetes, heart disease, um, you know, stroke uh, and, and, and cancer. So there's a huge number of health risks associated with, with being obese. Um, so we're trying to get the, this, this, this uh, public message across uh, in very simple terms. Professor Ben Rickason, thank you very much.